hello family welcome back to the channel my name is kezia and today i'm going to talk about typhoid fever now on my previous video there was a popular request to talk about typhoid fever and here i am delivering on your request so this is your sign if there is something you really want us to talk about please drop it in the comment section and i will deliver on that whilst you drop your comments please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that as soon as this is uploaded you have the notification and you can have it so now let's dive in right so i'll give you the overview of typhoid fever typhoid fever is an infection it is an infection caused by bacteria and this bacteria is called salmonella typhi they live in your bloodstream or your intestinal tracts and people present symptoms such as headache fever constipation or diarrhea nausea and severe cases such as perforation of the intestines and this can even lead to death so it is a very life-threatening condition and today we want to talk about the causes the prevention and the treatment plan available so how do one contact salmonella typhi like i said it is staying in people's intestinal tracts or their bloodstream what happens is the bacteria living in people's blood or their intestinal tract passes out through their urine or their feces so this feces or urine is contaminated once this contaminated feces comes into contact with food, drink, or anything you are able to ingest into your body, then the bacteria start from there and cause the symptoms. So what is happening actually is that you visit the toilet and the toilet is contaminated with salmonella typhi. You touch your mouth, before you have washed your hands already you've got the bacteria entering your system or somebody with the infection visit the toilets and do not wash their hands properly so their hands are already infected they touch your food they touch your drink you also eat it and then the infection starts spreading that is why there are some seafoods which are already contaminated with salmonella typhi you end up getting the salmonella typhi there are some contaminated milk or milk products which causes this also raw vegetables which has been fertilized or watered with human waste this can cause salmonella typhi now in countries where sanitation is really really poor people selling food drink on streets now flies which hoovers on feces or urine contaminated with typhi end up touching this food and the drink and people buy them and that is how this the bacteria enters people's system now as soon as the bacteria enters your system they go straight into your digestive system and they start multiplying themselves it only takes them about one week to two weeks before the signs and symptoms start showing up now once your system is invaded with the bacteria it starts showing signs and symptoms signs and symptoms that you start up with normally is with fever now fever is a, the body's natural response to any form of infection it is what tells your body first thing that you have been invaded with some form of disease causing organisms so there's fever there is headache there is stomach ache you can either get constipation or diarrhea there is extreme feeling of tiredness so as your symptoms progresses you begin to lose appetite you begin to lose appetite you experience vomiting or nausea nausea just means you constantly feeling like you want to vomit so some people 
they get worse and all their intestines start perforating so that they would need severe form of treatment like surgery now these symptoms i talked about earlier it is very very similar to malaria symptoms and the tricky thing is in countries where salmonella typhi or typhoid fever are high malaria is also very very high so it is very very difficult to detect diagnose and treat typhoid so it is very very essential when you have these signs and symptoms to check in with your doctor or your clinician so that they can take samples and diagnose now the only way we can detect it is typhoid is to take a sample of your urine blood or your poo it goes under the microscope and they are able to detect whether the bacteria salmonella typhi is in there even with that research says that the results do not always come out accurate so you may need series of tests even in advanced countries people who are suspected of typhoid fever require a series of tests to be able to detect whether it is typhoid fever or not before you do or start any treatment check in with your doctor get the diagnosis right and then you can get the treatment so what is the treatment plan because typhoid fever is caused by a bacteria clinicians use a group of medicines called called antibiotics it really attacks bacteria and cause them uh, to stop multiplying themselves so in case of typhoid you your doctor might give you just one antibiotic or a combination of one or two antibiotics depending on your symptoms and whether you have developed resistance to antibiotics now currently the line of treatment for typhoid fever you might either get ciprofloxacin which is a type of antibiotic which targets the bacteria and stop them from multiplying themselves you might get azithromycin in case you develop resistance or keftriazone or a group of antibiotics called carpabenems now here is the warning if you ever get antibiotic treatments you might have to take it for 7 to 14 days it is essential to complete the antibiotics as directed by your doctor this is to ensure that you are able to get rid of all the bacteria from your system in countries where antibiotics are allowed over the counter or you could get them straight away from the pharmacy please make sure you've got the go ahead from a clinician and you've got the right dosage and the right high amounts to take before you get these antibiotics i mean i know in advanced countries you couldn't get antibiotics without prescription so that is really um, monitored now once you start taking the antibiotics which is prescribed it takes usually takes about two or three days for your symptoms to start easing itself now there are some things you can do to make you feel better whilst you're on the antibiotics you need to rest have adequate rest drink a lot of water or fluids stay hydrated remember you might have diarrhea or constipation so you have to stay hydrated do not play or downplay the importance of hand sanitization wash your hands properly after visiting the toilet and before you touch any food or touch your mouth now there's few things you have to do after you've completed your treatment after you've completed your treatment it is recommended to go back to your doctor to have another test done they'll take your sample again blood pee or urine 
and check whether you've been able to get rid of the bacteria from your system. There are cases where the signs and symptoms will relapse. In this case, check in with your doctor straight away and they would go through the process, diagnose and give you suitable treatment. But there are cases where people become long-term carriers of the salmonella typhi. So remember, the typhoid bacteria can stay in your blood or your poo and urine for as long as 12 months. In this case, you might not exhibit the symptoms, but as long as you pass the poo and urine, you, ca you carry the, the risk of infecting other people. So people who have become long-term carriers, they are sometimes put on long-term treatment plan to clear them entirely of the salmonella typhi. So it all depends on your testing with your doctor and how um, the treatment plan your doctor would come up with. Today we've learned a lot, haven't we? We have learned about what salmonella typhi is, how you get it, the signs and symptoms you are going to exhibit and most importantly how to get it diagnosed and treated i'm hoping that this video has been really really useful to you if you've got any questions at all any form of clarity you want please drop in the comment section i would attend to you as quickly as possible if this video has been important to you, share with your friends, keep on sharing so that others will also have it and come back for more updates. So this is the end of our video and if this video has been useful to you, please like, share and subscribe so that you can get more updates to enrich your life. Until then, stay tuned, come back later and stay healthy.